previously on Next Level Chef. Only 15 of you will make it onto one of our teams. And your audition starts now. Go, grab ingredients. Babe, I'm not letting go. I'm not letting go. I said get the pan hot, but don't burn the kitchen down. People like me don't get this kind of opportunity. I got what it takes to be the next level chef. I'd like to remind all of you what's at stake. Congratulations, you're now the top chefs in this country. Tonight, we are going to draft our teams. Let's go. I know how to mentor winners. What did you do over the weekend? I made a draft war room board. So for my first pick, someone who knows how to grind. Hold on, would you like to join Team Ramsey? What the hell is happening? Uh. Welcome back. Feeling good? Yes, sir. Yeah. It feels so crazy that I'm going to be drafted today. I am praying that I end up on Chef Ramsey's team. Like, please, Chef Ramsey, pick me. I won't let you down, I promise. First of all, well done last week, all of you. The journey to the next level starts right here, right now. Yes, yes sir. Yeah. Because today, Richard, Naisha, and myself are going to draft our teams. I know how to mentor winners. Ouch. <laughs> and I see that potential in a lot of you. OK, a little uh, smack talk, a little shot right off the bat Tiny there. Bit. Okay. Just a little bit. All right, OK. Trust me, in the finale this year, it's going to be bathed in trailblazer blue. Ooh. 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 <laughs> you two can go on and on, but honestly, as the mentor from the reigning champion, I'm looking to keep that title right where it belongs, inside Team Ramsey. Yeah. yeah. But there is some good news for you, Mr. Blaze, since you're the only mentor here that hasn't had a winner on Next Level Chef. <laughs> <laughs> you do get the first pick of the draft. Woo! Woo! OK, here we go. My first pick. If you can make basement level ingredients shine like they're on the top floor, that's someone that I want on my team. I'm going to take Zach. Wow. Let's go, baby. This season's our season, Chef. Won't let you down. I'm feeling so good right now. I'm on Team Blaze. My fingers were crossed that he would pick me. And it happened. It happened. So for my first pick, I am going to choose someone who knows how to grind, because that's what it takes to win here. It's going to be Chef Vaughn. Yeah. Let's go, Chef. I knew you were a smart one. I knew you were a smart one. Let's go. Vaughn. Finally, the best part of the draft, <laughs> because I now get two picks in a row. My first pick is someone that really surprised me. Oh, yeah that showed great finesse. Chris, step forward. Let's go, Chris. Chef Ramsay, my hero. Let's go. I'm, I'm walking in shock right now. I'm in shock. My second pick is Gabby. Dang. Oh. Gabby, like, honestly, like, that's my sort of, like, my whole plan. Oh, I had this planned out. What did you do over the weekend? I made a draft war room board. Christina. Lauren. <laughs> Angela. I'm going to choose Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Let's go baby. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, wait, wait, hold, hold on. Hold on. Jordan, watching what you did, how you performed, the finesse that you had. Scallops are perfection, sort of magazine cover material, but it tastes as good as it looks. Jordan, I know how to mentor talent. I've been doing it for the last four decades, but I know what you need specifically, and I want you on Team Ramsey. 
Oh my God. What? I will give you my next two picks, two in a row, if you're willing, Jordan. Those scallops must have been out of this world. This is insane. What the hell is happening? <sighs> Would you like to join Team Ramsey? Uh. Chef Ramsey, you made me go viral when I burned my fingerprints off. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So I got to show out for you. I'm yes! going to Team Ramsey. I'm hoping Chef Arrington doesn't hold this against me, but Chef Ramsay is the ultimate teacher of food. I want to impress him. I want to learn from him. I got to go with the goat. Fine. Jordan, I just hope you don't regret that later. He won't. OK, fine, fine, <laughs> fine. OK, so my first pick of two, I'm going to go with Ari. Wait, wait, Ari, one more thing. Don't listen to him. I'm joking, I'm joking. Don't listen to him. Please do not listen to this man. My fourth choice is going to be Alexandra. I was fourth pick. I'm so clumsy, I would always get picked last for kickballs. Yeah, I'm like, and here we are. Isaiah, welcome. Yeah. My fourth selection is Nicole. Wow. Last pick for Team Blaze is Matt. Wow. Okay, guys, come on now, let's go. Wow. So, two phenomenal chefs left. I can't believe what's going on right now. I am being picked close to last. The last member of Team Arrington, I'm gonna go with Mata. Okay. To the top, baby. Do you know what? Now I have something to prove, and I'm coming. Wendy, welcome to Team Ramsey. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jeff. Just look at Team Ramsey. Just look at the strength, the finesse, the determination, the grit. I think he needs glasses, Chef. I <laughs> ah, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, listen, right now, it's time for your very first challenge. Ooh. Oh! oh. oh. Yes. You're all going to be making something that you've all made 100 times over an all-American burger. I can do this in my sleep. Burgers are my biggest seller on my menu. Let's go. But listen, not just any burger. It's time to make an amazing smash burger. Just use Mata's biceps to smash all our burgers. Oh, <laughs> we got this. Smash. But it's got to be next level. That's why you're here. Team Ramsey, there's more good news as the reigning champ. And the last to pick in the draft, we are starting right where we belong, in the top level Whoa! kitchen. Oh, let's go, baby. I had second pick, so that means we get to start in the middle kitchen. <laughs> let's kick it off in the basement, Team Blaze. Are you ready? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. All of you, head to the elevator. I'll see you up there shortly. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Let's all jump on Mata's back. <laughs> Good luck. You spent so much time in the basement, oh, no? I, I live down there. No, no, I just, okay. thank you for Jordan, by the way. I cannot believe you oh, took him. Are you kidding hij me? He hijacked me last you year. You guys are arguing like it's Michael but, Jordan. No, yeah, I mean, all's fair in love and cooking. I just love how he went viral for burning his fingerprints off. Yeah. So, good luck. <laughs> we started at the top, baby, and we are staying at the top. Oh. Feels good to be back here, baby. <laughs> I right here, baby home, sweet home. What's up, baby? How you doing? Woo! Yeah, let's go! Yeah. These are cute. Of course, it would be nice to be in the top, but hey, at least we're not on the bottom. Good luck, Team Blaze. Have fun down there. <laughs> Come on, baby. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Woo! God, I hate this place so much. It's it's brutal, it's a little bit rusty. Welcome to Team Blade, baby. The hardest thing is the ingredients are gonna be bad, the grab's gonna be rough. I have no idea what to expect right now. Time to make it official, guys. I don't wanna say it, but it could be third time loser. First time winner. There he is. Yeah. How are we doing, everyone? Team Blaze all the way. You know, I came here with that mindset. I manifested it, and I'm here. So I'm ready to take Team Blaze to the end. I am so pumped up to be your mentor. No one goes home today. Yes, yes. Hey, go. Let's go. Were you 
surprise I picked you guys? Nope, I knew it. I was already walking up before you said it, yeah. Here we go. Ramsey, 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 go! Oh man, we're on the top level. We have first grab. I have Chef Gordon Ramsay standing right in front of me. I'm ready to cook, Chef. You ready? I'm ready, let's go. Yes. And I'm looking at him like, ah. Platform is on the move. You got the first pick. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Look at all that. Turkey, venison, salmon. I'm on the top floor. I have to make a smart grab. And the first thing I see, lamb. And then right next to it, I see feta. Oh, beer and match made in heaven. Peanut butter and jelly. Beautiful brisket. With the brisket, I can make the perfect smash burger. Oh, yes. I cook those on the food truck. It's in the bag. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Go, go, go. Well done. When that light changes green, you go. Yes, yes, chef. Yes, chef. Go. Layers of flavor. Let's go. Grab your ingredients. Grab what you need. Wow. Dry as beef, I'm grabbing the beef. Saw some Monterey Jack, saw a brioche, and said, boom, I'm making sure that burger's top dish or I'll send myself home. Grab a protein, build around it. Ostrich, ostrich. 10 seconds, guys, 10 seconds. Salmon, no. Plant-based, hell no. I see turkey, boom, like a spider monkey out there just grabbing that protein out of thin air. Everyone have a bun? Oh. Have a bun? Yeah. Does everyone have a bun? Yeah. Everyone yeah. have a protein? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. All right, back to your station. Organize yourself. So you're moving. I see you, baby. Yeah. Good. There it is. Okay, what do we got? That platform is a ravage. No. I panicked. I got salmon, raspberries. Now all I gotta do is figure out what to do with these ingredients that are third choices. Uh, no pickles? No pickles? No pickles? The only protein ingredient I see is plant-based. Oh. Good job. I have never cooked with plant-based meat before. Grab as many things as you can that are gonna add flavor to the dish. We are just going crazy for the scraps. Three, two, okay, you one. Anything? If you, you reach anything? it, you can, you can use it if you can reach it, Matt. Holy shenanigans. You're 25 minutes. Oh my god, I did get my Starts now. It's time to get out of the basement, OK? Best dish has to come out of this kitchen. Let's get to the top floor, guys. I got a short rib. Huh? Really? I got a short rib. Oh did he really? Yeah. yeah. Short rib. How the heck did this make it to the basement? I expected a can of cat food or something. Lucky me, um, this might save my ass. I'm pumped now, man. We're getting out of this basement. Top kitchen, I expect the next level burgers. Gordon, are you kicking yourself for not picking me? Do you want to come up a level? You f***ed up. Have to save my girl. Come on now. Christina, my second pick. I'm honored, chef. I'm I'm honored. Are you kidding down? me? What protein did you grab? I grabbed sirloin. Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. How are we feeling, Ari? I'm feeling so good. I've got ostrich meat, and I've put a little butter in there because ostrich meat is very lean. It's really smart. Yes. Make sure you're watching your heat, right? You want hot, but not too hot. These babies get hot, hot. <sighs> chef, chef. Oh my god. Be careful, I said be careful. Ari station's on fire. Please, let's go, let's go. Control your things, people. Guys, we are on fire oh, in here. Yeah. Some of us quite literally. I'm not a firefighter, I'm a chef. I got this, baby. I'm not gonna let a little fire come in between me and my big win. It wouldn't be me if there wasn't a little bit of drama in the kitchen. I'm not gonna let a little fire get in my way. It's still going. You just gotta let it burn, baby. Usher. Oh, this knife is dull. Okay, Maddie, how are you doing? doing, Chef? Okay. I'm feeling good, man. I got salmon. Salmon. So I'm working on a salmon burger. I haven't cooked a salmon burger. I haven't eaten a salmon burger. And now here in the basement, I gotta do my best to make the best salmon burger I've never had. Got the raspberries, the harissa, the anchovies, and the garlic. Gonna make a sauce with that. Okay. Raspberry, salmon, harissa. Okay, so salmon burger, some sort of fun, uh, some condiment. Dr. Seuss couldn't write that as a list of ingredients. Are you doing one patty or two? We're gonna see where we go. I'm nervous because this is a lot of stuff I've never worked with before. Salmon, harissa, and these raspberries. Stuff that you wouldn't really think to put together, but you gotta try to make some magic down in the basement. Whoa! Nicole. I grabbed a plant-based. Never okay. cooked anything vegan, but we're gonna spice this up and make sure it's nice and tasty. I've never worked with plant-based 
protein like that before. I don't know how it's gonna hold together, but it looks like red meat, and so I think it can't be that much different, right? It's a great idea, so just keep moving along with that idea. Flour, flour, flour. Just focus to stay grounded, baby. Easy, just like the food truck. Jordan, I'm glad you made the switch. Thank you, Chef. I appreciate the opportunity. I won't let you know. What do you grab? So we're basically going to do a Asian-inspired banh mi style burger. We got some ground pork. We're going to get our beautiful Asian flavors in there. This day could not be going any better. I'm in the top kitchen. Chef Ramsey fought for me. That means the world to me. I need to show him that I'm ready to put up a fight. How y'all feeling, man? Feeling good, man. Good, 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 good. 20 minutes to go. What goes well with a burger? Potato. Fry. Potato. Fries, that's right. Team Ramsey, it's time for the mid-round drop. Guys, all of you, grab a basket. I need something fried. <laughs> grab a basket. I need potatoes right now. Oh my god, all I see are vegetables. It could be fried jalapenos, there's asparagus here, carrots. First thing I see is a carrot. I have never had a carrot fry personally, but I've never made a banh mi smash burger before either. I think we are about to stand out right now. You ever done fried carrots? <laughs> nah, man. I see that platform is on the move. Grab one basket for your fried veg side. All right, I'm gonna make something crispy to accompany this awesome burger that I'm making. I see some green beans. Oh, boom, tempura green beans, perfect. All right, here we go, guys, mid-round drop. You have to grab a vegetable and fry it up. You need a fried vegetable side. I grab an eggplant. I already got a plant-based burger. You can grab whatever you want there. <sighs> this is too many vegetables. Five seconds left. Sorry to all the vegans. <laughs> no, there we go. So you got a smash burger that now needs a fried vegetable. Okay, Matt, what did we grab in the mid-round? I got some zucchini. You feel good about the zucchini? I do feel good about the zucchini. Okay, what are you gonna yeah, do with I'm it? Gonna, I'm gonna fry it with a little bit of seasoning, get a little bit of breadcrumbs on there. Okay. It's gonna be real delicious with that sauce. Okay, so you're gonna go a little bit of uh, flour, egg wash, bread. Yes, sir. Okay, got it. Zucchini chips need a nice sauce with them. I really just hope that all these flavors go together well. I think we're gonna have pretty cool, versatile burgers down here. Yes, we are. 10 minutes gone, 15 minutes to go. Chris, you shaped the patties, yes? Which ones? You shaped them, right? Now, Chef, Chef. You are my first pick for a reason. I saw some greatness across those auditions. Well, do, Chef. Don't overcomplicate it. No more salt in there, yes? Yes, Chef. This brisket is on point. I mean, it's gold, it's money. This is the money flavor. Look how beautiful that is. Salt, pepper, it's game time, baby. Time is going, okay? 12 minutes to go. Word. Has anyone got their burgers going yet? Not yet, I'm about to. About to be, get real smoky up in this grill. Now listen, I know you guys are, are challenged here in the basement. You don't have the right pans. We might not have the best presses, all right? But we have to make it happen, okay? Angela, so we want to really make sure we press that down, right? All right, Nicole, how are we doing with the plant-based burger over here? It was sticking. Go. Get a little oil on there. I'm freaking out. The whole plant-based meat is sticking to my burger press. It's not looking good. They won't. It's not they're, looking they're, good. They're, okay, coming, look. they're not. They're not staying together. Okay. So I'm scared to flip. I'm trying to get the patty off, and it's just crumbling like taco meat. Oh no. Mine aren't. Mine aren't sticking together. Oh, this is not good. What? Frick. I think it's burnt. I think that's burnt, and I think here you can reform it. Okay. I just feel like nothing was really coming together. I should have put an egg or something to bind in it. And just get it off, let it rest. If you lose a little bit, it's okay. I have a sauce that I'm really proud of, which I hope gets me brownie points. So <laughs> hopefully it's enough. 10 minutes to go, and I will not want to lose. Let's go. Right now, Isaiah, this is where you smash now, my man. Yes. Let's go, let's go. All right, time to smash. Let's go, guys, let's go. Smash burger, right? Smash patty. Keep going. Big push. Yes, yeah, chef. Sina, you got this, girl. Smash it. Smash, smash. Big smash. Feeling good? Yes, feeling good, chef. Feeling strong? Yes. I see we that. We are strong. We are strong. Quite literally, chef. You okay, Vaughn? Yes, chef. Guys, we are on fire in here. Be careful. Don't, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Be careful. Vaughn's smashing the burger. His whole arm's on fire. And he's just like, I don't give a 
Oh, okay, Vaughn, you go. Good? Yes, sir. Good? Yes, sir, we're doing great. Seven minutes to go, guys, yes? How are we doing? Flip. Is it good, yeah? Uh, now you can see underneath there. Now you can see beautifully how it's doing. So yeah. nice and gentle. Back over. There you go. Good. Beautiful. Thank you, Tim. Perfect. My pork patties are looking great. Oh, my God. Beautiful. But we're going to do an Asian glaze. This thing is going to come together incredible. Let's go, guys. Thank you, Chef. Chris, don't over salt it. Don't destroy that. I guess it's breaking up. It's breaking up. Chef, I'm going to put it back together. So I start struggling with this smashed burger as I'm cooking it. When I put the weight on top of it, it's just sticking to the weight. My burger's not, it's not working out right now. This is not what I expected. I'm going to put it, pop it in the oven. That's where it's going to come back together. Yeah. Four minutes left, guys. I don't like the shape of that one, so I'm making another one that's a little bit bigger. Also, I want you to breathe. Yes, Chef. Okay, you're doing great. <laughs> How are we feeling, Ari? I am loving what I did with this Good. ostrich Nice meat. amount of sauce on your burger. Aioli is great. I've made ostrich burgers many, many times. I'm just trying to take my time and cook it properly. Set yourself up for success, team. Yes, Chef. Nice looking green beans, Vaughn. Take your job. Christina, you got this, girl. Yep. Don't cook nervous. You handle pressure in that ICU unit. Shh, that's for sure. You know what I mean? You got this. I'm only cooking one burger patty. Everyone else has two or three patties. I'm hoping that I didn't make a bad decision. Come on, guys. Big push. No step. Act like you want it. It's time to get out of the basement, OK? Yes, yes chef. chef. I don't want to see anyone in that elimination cook. Three minutes left. Three minutes. That's bad, bro. That's crap. And you have sauce somewhere? I'm working on it right now. This one is horrible. I'm trying to make a new one, Chef. No, uh, a new one? OK. Good. Same ingredients, uh, just no worries, a little no bit different process. Okay, listen, we're running out of time, OK? Yes, sir. My biggest challenge right now is the sauce I'm trying to make, and it does not taste good. I don't know if raspberries are the right thing, but it's too late now. I got to do whatever I can to make this as good as I can with what I got. OK, Zach, I like the sound of it. Tell me you're feeling good. I'm feeling great, Chef. Feeling good about your condiment? Yes, Chef. Feeling okay. great. Okay. Sauce okay. is tasting great. I'm feeling super confident in my smash burger. This is what's going to get us out of this basement. It's only cooking the rim. <laughs> OK, well, that, that's because of the pan. That's the challenge of being down here. This basement isn't easy, and it's not supposed to be, OK? We have to get out of here, Team Blaze. Yes, Let's chef. go. Yes, chef. OK, guys, two minutes to go. Start plating. Yes. Right, Chris. There you go, Chef. That's, that's it. There it, it is, Back baby. together now. Yes, Bring chef. Back together. So I'm looking at this smashed burger, and it's kind of just all over the place. What the heck just happened? Take your time, OK? Take your time. Take your time. I want your best, OK? Should have binded it together with, with another component. I'm thinking, what did I just do to myself? Guys, one minute. One minute. Platform's heading down. It's heading to the basement. Next up is you. Come on, guys. Show me why I picked you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Isaiah, bring it home. Fried pickles, bring it home. Finesse that. Ask yourself, is that the best smash burger? Finesse it. The platform is here. The platform's here. Get it on the platform. Heard, Chef. Matt, the platform's here. The yes, Chef. A couple seconds left. It's on the move soon. Nice. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Platform's on the move, guys. Oh, my god. I'm running out of time. No plate left behind. Let's go. Get those plates up. Let's go, Mara. I don't have time to make sure my plate is extra beautiful. I got to just go. Come on, Mara. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Mara. Let's go. Mara, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Mara, do not miss that platform. Go, Mara. Platform is here. Let's go. Get those plates up. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Mara. Right now. Go, Mara. Hurry up. Good job, Mara, please. I know you're tall. Good job, Mara. Please don't do that to me. You're going to give me a heart attack. Oh, I need you. I like, oh. I like the pressure. I'm like seven feet tall, man. For the platform, I'm made for it. Platform's here. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Ten seconds to go. Jordan, you got to go. It's got to go, Jordan. You got to go. Get it on there. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Ah! Woo! Whoa, let's go, baby! Look at these beauties. Wow. Well done. Now, be aware, the chef who's eliminated tonight, their team will not only be down a member, but they'll be sent down to the basement. Understood? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now, you sure, Richard, you ready? So ready. 
Let's start on the top floor. Okay, this beauty here is the Wagyu beef. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe a little bit overcooked, but this is a real classic rendition of a smash burger. I loved it. Cooked beautifully, seasoned on point. I love the idea of the fried pickles as well. Next up, this was a lamb-inspired smash burger set with marinated feta. The balance and the saltiness, the brininess coming off the feta cheese is really exciting to eat against the richness of that lamb. This was a brisket burger served with fried asparagus. We had a couple of issues with the coming together of it. Yeah, this one's a little bit messy on the eyes. For me, I would have pulled back a touch on the salt. I mean, a lot of salt, yeah. very, very salty. There has to be, I mean, there has to be some worse dishes here right now. This is a pork burger with some fried uh, carrots. Just not easy to do. Beautiful bacon in there as well. A really unique take for the fried side item. This for me is out of the box thinking on a smash burger. I love the lift, the acidity and the heat. The grab was smart on this one. I just got three incredible compliments from all three mentors. This could not go any better. I think we got the top dish, absolutely. This was a Asian inspired shrimp served with some avocado. I really appreciate the flavor and the caramelization of the shrimp, right? A little bit of creaminess coming off the avocado. Uh, the bun for me is a little bit dry. Is it a smash burger? That's my only question with this. Should we move to the basement? Okay, so we'll start right here where we have a plant-based burger which fell all the way to the basement, believe it or not, with a barbecue sauce and crispy eggplant. It can be challenging grabbing that plant-based meat product and bringing it to life. That barbecue sauce is delicious, but it's been used so heavily, it just obliterates the palate. Listen, I drown my nuggets in barbecue sauce, right. Gordon, so I'm okay with the sauce. It's a little one note texturally. This is our uh, chicken smash burger with a basement made pineapple and mustard barbecue sauce. That pink bun looks really, really nice. Chicken's cooked beautifully. I love the heat in there as well. Moving along here, we have salmon with a harissa raspberry condiment. Wow. Being in the basement, I feel like you really gotta try to take a risk because if you take that risk, even in the basement, that looks that much better. This burger's slightly overcooked for me. It doesn't taste of salmon and the raspberries just don't work. This was a tough task right here, but raspberry, salmon, and harissa, it sounds weird, tastes kind of weird too. Coming up top here, we have a short rib burger with sriracha aioli and chilies and a pretzel bun. Short rib in the basement. How did that happen? What's going on, top floor, middle floor? Thank you for the gift. I'm really surprised this was made in the basement. You have the classic makings of a smash burger, the onion, the cheese, the beef, caramelized, it's delicious. Seasoning's on point. The fried jalapeno on the side, delicious, really good. Lastly, venison with a little bit of a balsamic glaze and some pickled fennel. It's cooked beautifully, it's a tough one. And it's ingredients that shouldn't really work together, but somehow tonight you've made them work. I really enjoy this. This is beautifully cooked, and I really enjoy the pops of acidity coming from the pomegranate seeds. Okay, shall we uh, move to the middle floor? Yes, please. First up, we have a sirloin burger, and this chef used parsnip as their fried vegetable side. This burger is seasoned beautifully. It's cooked. Absolutely spot on. For me, the parsnip chip was a really money grab. Here we have a dry aged beef burger served with a fried egg and caramelized onions. On the side, tempura green beans. A double stack? Double stack. The chef actually weighed the patties out to four ounces individually. Burger tastes good, really on point. It's amazing how much a burger can get elevated with just simple, beautiful egg fried on top. The green beans are delicious. It's a really nice little sort of naughty fry. Next up, we have a turkey burger. This is Mediterranean inspired. The chef used tahini. Mm. Whether it's the tahini or the olive oil, it definitely leaves a lot of bitterness on the palate. Next up, we have a veal burger and fried broccolini. It's a shame, this one, because I was excited about the idea of veal in a burger. It needs more texture, a little bit more crispiness. Next up, we have an ostrich burger served with Swiss cheese, and the side is fried cauliflower. Mine's raw. 
Yeah, it's a little undercooked in the center. Damn, what a shame. Oddly, it's a little too rare on the inside and a little crispy sure. slash burnt on the outside. I work with ostrich all the time. Like, how could this happen to me? What a shame. I feel like I let my team down. Right, well done, all of you. Have a chat amongst yourselves, because right now we need a couple of minutes to ourselves. Excuse us, please. I just don't want to go back to the basement. I'm done. I'm done in the basement. If your basement continues cooking like that, you're not going to win. Listen, <laughs> there's one or two high highs down there. But, but let's not yeah. low lows. Where were you when they're putting raspberries with the salmon? What, 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 are you, what am I but supposed to do? Where's the mentor? Am I grabbing their ingredients, Gordon? Yeah, that's, all, that's all that's yeah. left. Sometimes you get raspberries and salmon yeah. in a pink bun, and that's how yeah, it is. Uh, outstanding okay. ones. Short rib burger. That tasted like the most like a burger you would get at a proper restaurant. That was a beautiful Even burger. the pretzel bun worked on it. Let's move up to the middle floor. My ostrich must have been running around on the middle floor. It no, was it was really raw in the middle. It was. The whole station almost nearly burned down to the ground. <laughs> well, that was the amazing thing about it. It was burnt yeah. and rare. Do I've never seen there. a burnt tartare before. Quite an but... accomplishment. I was doing cartwheels in here. I'm about to know, crawl out of here. Yeah. <laughs> the dry aged beef. Dry aged beef. Yeah. Delicious. Delicious. He did Honestly, the simple things correctly. The meat, the cheese, done. threw an egg on it. That burger for me was the most rounded burger. Um, top floor. How about the pork burger? How delicious was that? It was cooked beautifully. As much as it pains me right now, Gordon, because I want to see some people fall from your floor. Really, really yeah. good. What about that brisket burger? This yeah. guy was my first pick. It almost yeah. ate more of like a chopped cheese. Yeah, okay. he, he struggled. Before we started, you hit that mass salt. I watched you do it, and I think you forgot and you salted it again. No, uh, yeah. You good? Yes. Let's yeah. go. Here they are. Okay, here we are. Now, before we tell you our decision, which was tough, by the way, there's one more thing on the line today. You didn't think we'd forgotten these. Ooh. The immunity pin. These pins are a huge safety net. If at any point you're nominated for elimination, you can use it to save yourself. We'll each reward one pin to the chef who earned it across today's challenge. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best burger of the day. It may mean, did you work the hardest? Did you have the right composition with that burger? So the chef who has earned my immunity pin showed poise. There's just something quite unique about the way you pivot and handle yourself. This pin goes to Jordan. Ah! Well done. Thank you, Chef. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. Well done. Thank you. It's really well done. Yes, Good job. You. Woo! <laughs> okay, guys, the chef who will be earning this immunity pin is Christina. Woo! You earned it, girl. You earned it. Thank you. You were calm under pressure, you edited along the way. Yeah. That is coachable. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to listen to you all the way. <laughs> this chef really thought on their feet, made some great quick decisions, and ended up putting out a really, really nice, proper smash burger. I'm going to give my immunity pin to Zach. Yes. Dude. Immunity pin, don't let it go to waste. We're going to the end, chef. First round draft pick and the immunity pin, yes. There were a couple of burgers that were real standouts, but only one will earn safety for their team and the right to cook in that top kitchen in their next challenge. The best burger today was cooked by Vaughn. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Eat that, Gordon. You should have picked me. But I'm glad Naisha picked me because that's my homegirl. We cool. We here. <laughs> Congratulations, Team Arrington. Okay, guys. Team Arrington, you're safe. Oh. Please head back to the lounge. Kick your oh, feet up. You. Relax. Well done, Vaughn. Thank you, sir. There is nothing that can save you from raw meat. Except for Vaughn. Vaughn, 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 Vaughn. Thank you, Vaughn. Absolutely, I got you, I got you. Gordon, Richard, you have to choose a member of your team to go into that elimination. I'm gonna start with you, Gordon. 
This is really hard. I mean, really hard. The person I'm sending into the elimination is Chris. Chris, you were my first pick in the draft, OK? Prove it once again. Yes, Chef. I'm going to throw into the elimination against Chris. Matt, this wasn't your strongest dish, but I think the platform got the best of you. Upstairs, you'll have all the ingredients that you need to take down Chris. Take him out. You have one final opportunity to save yourselves. Do not hold anything back. We want you to put a next level spin on another wildly popular dish, just like Smash Burgers, a classic fish taco. You have 25 minutes. Richard and Gordon will join us after the cook. Head to the elevator and I'll meet you there. Let's go, Chris. Come on, huh? Let's go, let's go, Team Ramsey. Come on. The Lions Den. I got a golden opportunity here. We got Chef Ramsey's number one pick overall, and if we can knock him out, that sets a really good path for Chef Blaze the rest of the way. I feel bad for Chef Matt. My confidence and my level of performance is at a 10 compared to him. Today, it's his turn to go home. Let's go. OK, guys, please, uh, hands on the elevator. We're going to go when it turns green. Go. Let's go, green. Let's go, guys. Platform stays here the entire time. My first pick on protein would have been the mahi, but it's OK. I'm perfectly fine making a cod taco. What's your plan? Right now, I got to saute that and leave it in butter. That way, it doesn't overcook. Saute? It's going to be amazing. Your mahi-mahi? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's don't that's forget, it's fish, right? So yeah. it doesn't take that much time at all. No. You want to start with what is going to take the longest. Where are How you doing, Aisha? What's going on? Working on my jalapeno crema right now, my avocado crema. How are you preparing your pot? Black and cod going to be on the grill or a pan. I haven't fully decided yet. Nice. Are you making your own tortillas? I am making my own tortillas, Chef, yes. Excellent. Do you feel comfortable with that? I do. Good. Show everyone why you belong in this competition and why you're vying for the title of Next Level Chef, yes? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. You are so cow, man. Yes. Right? Yes, Chef. You mess this up, they're not going to let you back. No, no I'll, I'll retire, Chef. I mess this <laughs> no, up. No, come on, man. <laughs> You making your own tortillas? Uh, I'm going to try, Chef, if there's time. If not, I can always go back to that platform, Chef. Yeah, don't leave it for the end, OK? Make sure yes, you're chef. happy with your tortillas. You can always wrap them in a napkin, keep them soft. Yes, you Chef. You know what I mean? You got it, Matt. Come on, you got it. The, the, the press ain't coming low enough. These things are this thick. They're looking like pitas. I'm wasting a lot of time on these tortillas. I have to pivot to some store-bought. 15 minutes, guys, 15 minutes. How am I looking? How am I looking, bro? Now you're looking good, dog. Yeah? Just make sure you hit these right, bro. Execute these tortillas right. Bro, if not, I can use regular tortillas over there. Dude's pressing more than uh, my chest stays at the gym, bro. Like, come on. Calm down. I'm pressing the tortillas. They're not coming out right. They're actually falling apart. At this point, I'm thinking about pivoting. I turn around, I look at the platform. There's no more store-bought tortillas. What the heck did I just do to myself? What did I just do? Oh, you This is it. All my blood, sweat, and tears, it's crumbling in front of me with the tortilla. It's done, but I cannot give up. I have to plate this dish no matter what happens. Four minutes left. Going against Chris, he has the most experience. He knows what he's doing. In my head right now, I'm just thinking everything has to be completely spot on and absolutely perfect if I have a chance to take him down. Two minutes left, guys. Let's start fighting. There we go. There we go. Okay, Matt. Dude, Matt's about to win, bro. Chris. Yeah. Are you sure you want to go on this plate? It's a really pretty. It's going to break if I put it on there. I already tried to. How are we at leveling this up? Next level taco, chef. The citrus, the creaminess, everything's done right. Ten, guys. Count them down. Nine. Eight, seven, six. Come on, Chris! Squeeze it on top. Squeeze it on top. Oh, beautiful. Let's see, bud. Oof, smells good. Seriously fiery cook up here. First dish, we have a mahi mahi taco. This is on a red corn tortilla with citrus salsa. Wow, well, that's super wet. Uh, delicious. I like them. Smart move, whoever got the uh, mahi-mahi. It, it's vibrant. The downside is the tortilla is wet, 
and so it's sort of not practical. It feels a little bit rough around the edges, but kudos to whoever made them because uh, they do taste delicious. I love the aromatics and the freshness of the cilantro. Um, maybe it's missing a little salsa, but I love some of these other crunchy bits. Next up, we have a pan-roasted cod taco. This is served with a radicchio slaw. They don't look like they're handmade tortillas. That's correct. The chef pivoted, started with handmade tortillas, and decided to go with the store-bought tortilla. Right. Um, a little clunky. The fish is big. What I love about this is it, it you can hold it, you can handle it like a taco. Um, let's get one thing absolutely clear. The fish is beautiful. The disappointing part for me on these is the bitterness. There's a radicchio that is such an aftertaste. I thought it was purple cabbage. <laughs> radicchio, man. Richard, I'm going to start with you. Which dish are you going to eliminate tonight? The mahi-mahi? Or will it be the cod? The dish that I'm eliminating is the cod. Gordon. The dish I'm eliminating tonight is the cod. That dish was cooked by Matt. I've been doing this 18 months. I never expected to be here. It was an absolute joy getting to work with you, even for the short amount of time. You should be really proud of your work, and I can't wait to keep watching your journey on social media. Thank you, Chef. Well done, bud. <laughs> Leaving this early hurts. I know for a fact I didn't go home because of effort. I didn't go home because of fighting spirit. I, I went home because of inexperience. I mean, it sucks, it hurts, but I know there's more to go. Listen, learn from the hurt. We've all done that in this room. Dust yourself down and bounce back. Here's the good news. You are all one step closer to becoming our next level chef. But things are about to get more spicy. Ooh. Good night, guys. That was intense. Good night, Oh, guys. Chris, my number one draft. Stay out of the elimination. <laughs> we'll do chef. Man. Next time on Next Level Chef. <laughs> Time to spice things up. Curry. Curry is in my strong suit. If you're not producing the best dish that you can, your time could be up. I want the heat. I want the whole fire. Blaze, you good? No, I'm not good. Can you send some ingredients down? You don't want to be in that elimination cook tonight, right? No, hell no. What am I going to do? Lauren, you got to go. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Lauren, it's moving. Go, go. Come on, Lauren, Lauren. Come on, come on. Get it. Go.